All right, I'm at the fast lane truck car headquarters. I'm gonna go inside, meet them, chat with them for a bit, do the video. This is so cool though, I'm stoked. Look, you can see there's your Hummer. Right. This should be exciting. So, I, sounds good. Cool. I'm here in the TFL headquarters, and this is just so cool. Like I've seen these guys on YouTube, and um, and all of that, and. You know, here we are. We got the truck inside, ready to go to to do to to do the filming, and uh, it's just it's so neat meeting them, um, you know, for the first time. But uh, let's go see if we can interrupt their day for a second. And uh, it's just so cool. This this place is definitely so cool. Watching these guys on YouTube for hours and hours and hours. And uh, we got. Nathan doing his thing over here, working away. And I was admiring your wheels. Oh, was that you admiring them? Oh my God, I love those wheels. Aren't they just, I know, man. They're business. They're business wheels. It just needs some proper rubber for this type of weather. Well, the problem is, is that I'd take it off road and I'd immediately destroy the paint on the wheels. It'd just be absolutely <laughs> obliterated. And then Roman would yell, and then the rover would yell. Which is why you could take it off road, yeah. you do your stuff, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> there you go, right? There you Hi, guys. go. Your the my favorite thing ever was the um, what did you call the the Rubicon when you guys went to all fifty one states? Oh, uh, you mean the um, mountain Motor Mountain USA? That I think has been one of the favorite series I've ever watched on YouTube. It was just thank you. Yeah, they, that was that was a team effort, and you know it was Roman's brainchild, and the the, the fact that we made it happen in a year. Yeah. Our wives were so pissed off at us. Like Alaska and like mm -hmm. Hawaii, <sighs> the East Coast. Every state in the nation we covered. Uh, we went to the highest point in every. So it's not just the highest any, drivable. The, point. the highest drivable. Spot. Right. So it's not just going to every state, but then it's finding the highest drivable point because then that's a logistical nightmare just <laughs> on top of everything. It is indeed. In fact, we had some serious problems. One of them was in Maine. Okay, because yeah. I'd never been to Maine. I'd been to most of the states, so I, I, I was lucky, but Maine was one of the ones I hadn't been to before. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking, okay, cool, it's going to be by the coast or something cool. Yeah. No, no, no. It's in the middle of this really horrible wooded area where it's like industrial. There used to be a coal mine there yeah. and everything else, and we're in the swamps. Yeah. And it was miserable. And what we had to do is use GPS and everything else to approximate the highest point. Now, most states do have a marker showing the highest right. you know, point. But drivable. Is he, is he telling you some sob story? No, it's about the Motor Mountain USA. Come he on. Was like, he was like, all he was doing was like eating out. Remember? I mean, eating out. Think, oh, about, think about this. The highest point in most states is like 20 feet above sea level, right? Like Florida, right? It was oh, a little dog park. Too, too, yeah, that was 200 feet above sea level. 200. And, it, and they actually had a park dedicated to it. Yeah, so they're like eating, you know, lobster rolls in Maine. Uh, for what, yeah. <laughs> That's a funny story, by the way, the lobster roll part in Maine. So we were leaving Maine. I've never been there, so I wanted a lobster roll, right? Because that's what you do in Maine, right? Yeah. Couldn't find one, and we had to get the hell out of there. We're about to leave the border. I'm really ticked off because, you know, I want a lobster roll. And almost there, and also I slam on the brakes. Poor Andre nearly flies through the windshield. Oh, God. McDonald's has Mick lobster rolls. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to eat a lobster roll when I'm in Maine. Yeah. So we go in there. I take one bite, and i just like, oh, my God, this is the worst thing ever. But uh, Andre, who, you know, he's Russian, so he's yeah. used to bread lines and eating, yeah, you, know, totally. you know, anything. So I handed it to him and he just, this is great. Yeah, great. But we had lobster rolls in Maine. There you go. That's the important part. What was driving the Rubicon on the Rubicon Trail like? What was that experience like? Well, we did it with the trailer, if you recall. <laughs> right. Which was, nobody does that, or very few people do yeah. that. So um, that was an experience in itself. Now, I've off-roaded with trailers before, but yeah. not to that extreme. And we didn't do a lot of Rubicon because we just didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. So we, we hung out for a couple hours. Yeah. But one of the things I had to learn is that when you're going over rocks, you have to remember that that thing's behind you. You got two more wheels that have to go up and over. Uh -huh. And even though it was, you know, highly, it could articulate yeah. and move around, it was very, very difficult for that JK to pull that trailer really? over rocks. It was tough. 
Um, I, I learned a lot of things in a very short amount of time. Do you think the new engines would have been... Like, yes, I think the new transmission, the automatic, as much as I prefer manual, yeah. the automatic has a better uh, ratio. So going up and over those rocks, I think it would have been easier. In fact, a manual would have been better too because I'd have left it in the first gear and just let it just, just power crash. over. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't think I would... <laughs> I don't think I would do that type of thing again, though. I think it was too much strain on that engine, way too much. Really? That's why we only towed uh, with that trailer for about 25 states, uh, 27 states with the trailer, I think it was, roughly. First of all, MPG was terrible, and we were on our own budget. So, really? yeah, so all the money's coming out of us. So Rome's like, yeah, find a way to make it cheaper. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. so no trailer. It was actually cheaper to get rid of the trailer and actually stay in cabins at KOAs and whatnot. Was it yeah. really? Yeah. It was sucking that much gas. It was, we were averaging around 10, 11 miles per gallon. Wow. And then getting rid of the trailer brought us up to 19, 20 miles per gallon. So if you wow. think about it, especially in some of the other states where gas is really expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it saved us a ton of dough wow. and also time because we were now able to get to places going the speed limit or, you know, yeah, yeah. ish, uh, instead of going under the speed limit with that trailer because it slowed us down big really? time. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? And it didn't weigh that much either. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tommy, was it? Um, I, I was trying to remember how much that. Uh, 1,300 pounds. 1,300 pounds. Yes. So, but that was unladen and we had some stuff there. What do we got? Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no problem. Thank you. No problem. Awesome. See you next week. Yeah, thank you. We leave stuff behind all the time. So our <laughs> budget just falls apart. <laughs> anyway, yeah, awesome. it was it, that trailer. It sh it shouldn't have been that much of a strain, but it had the really big tires, and yeah. I think that was a little bit uh, too much drag too. Guys, meet Andre. Hey, nice to meet you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. The first time I remember you is they were doing the, um, what do you call the, the gauntlet going downhill? Yeah, downhill. Yeah. Well, we measure how much, you know, brake applications the, we yep. get coming down the mountain. 7% grade. Did you just do run that highway? Man, I, I yeah, I went <laughs> up and over. I've, okay. see, I've done a lot of mountain passes before. Yes. I've never seen one that big, that long, right. especially coming down this side. Yeah. Okay. It just keeps going yeah. and going. And there's and signs saying, you know, you're not done you're yet. You're not done yet. <laughs> I, yeah. Like yes. there must've been a lot of issues back in the day because totally. there's a ton of signage totally. for trucks. Yeah. There was a recent accident where a truck lost brakes. This was a couple of weeks ago and it was a bad accident. He really? ran into the traffic, there was a fire. Oh, uh, really? it, was, it was really bad. It can get really bad. Damn. Yeah. Damn. But it was definitely a cool drive. I got stuck, there was an accident and they closed it for a bit, so I was yeah. stuck in uh, on the other side for a little bit, yeah. but uh, yeah. no, that's awesome. Was it snowing a lot? Yeah, 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 it was snowing. Yeah, so I'm glad you're here. Yeah. You know, nice to meet you, dude. And, uh, you saw some of the Colorado, right? I, yeah, I did. Yeah, no, I, I've seen some yeah. of the stuff. It was a bummer because of the snow. I wanted to go hit yeah. Goldmine Trail and some of the, all those, uh, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, so totally. It is totally. what it is. Well, I'm glad you're here, dude. Yeah, man. It all was right. great, great meeting. All, all right. right. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. Let's see if we can find Boss Man. I got something for you. A mic. This is kid? Roman. Hey guys, how are you? This is this is the the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> how long have you had TFL? It's almost ten years now. Ten yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, ten years we've been doing it. Me and Nathan started way back. Um, you know, we were one of the first guys doing buddy reviews, and now all the Canadians jumped into it. <laughs> right? right? Yeah. They're all doing buddy reviews. Yeah, so yeah. all you Canadians out there. Good job. <laughs> you don't want well, to say yeah, something else. Yeah, yeah, you guys are, but yeah, you know, you're, you're the, uh, you know, you're the originators. You're, I don't you're, know about that, but I mean, the Buddy Review has been around a long time. It's good yeah. to see that people are taking it kind of the next level. You know, the straight pipes out of totally. Calgary, those guys yeah. are great. Uh, and now we have, what are the other two guys that just started doing the British guy and the Canadian guy? I don't know, uh, I haven't Canada. seen them yet. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're also out of Canada. So Canada is becoming a hotbed of YouTube automobile, um, content on YouTube yeah. and it's cool man. It's, it's awesome. really cool, especially since it's like snowing up there half the year. It's not easy to do, I bet. Yeah, no, it's yeah. awesome. All right, so All your right. turn. I'm gonna get mic'd up yeah, and get mic'd we'll up. get going.